Hi everyone. This is uh, Don Cater from Art by Cater, and I wanted to recreate a flower and show you how I did it, so that um, you can recreate it too as well. Um, let's get started. Please remember to wear a respirator when using alcohol ink and alcohol. So. The first thing I'm going to do is lay down some ink, and in this case it's fuchsia ink from Copic. And I'm not going to use any alcohol because I want all the ink and all the pigment from the ink so that when I spread it out, um, it will spread out thicker. Now I'm just blowing the ink dry, and I'm not trying to spread it as much, I just really want it to dry in the area that it's at. So now I'm going to add alcohol to the outside of a little area of that dot that I just put on there. And then I'm going to take my heat gun, and it's not on hot heat, and I'm just going to, um, after the alcohol is soaked into that red dot just a teeny bit, you can see where it kind of comes in a little bit, then I blow it out, just that section. And then I repeat the process by adding a little bit of alcohol to the outside, you can see where it's starting to saturate that little the initial red dot that I made and then I just blow it out. And notice how I'm not putting the alcohol on the red dot. I'm just putting it on the outside of the red dot and you can see the alcohol kind of come into the red the center circle and then I blow it out from there. So now that I'm done with the first layer of petals, I'm going to fill in the center section of it again with no alcohol, just straight alcohol ink and the fuchsia. And um, so I can accentuate that center and also use the ink that I'm putting on there um, to blow out my second layer of petals. So now I'm just going to add a darker color just for contrast and because I can never just stick to one color.
So I put a little bit too much of the pinata brass on there. So I'm gonna dilute it with some alcohol. And then um, since it's too much for me, I'm gonna you know, wipe some of it off with a little spongy brush. So I'm still wiping off the brass and at the same time, I'm trying not to move around the center, but I do want to, this alcohol to be absorbed. Um, I'm not too concerned about the right side where it kind of you know, seeps because I'm gonna use that as part of my second layer of petals. down a little bit of alcohol towards the outside of the inner circle so that I can make my second layer of petals and I just put a little bit around so it absorbs some of that ink and then I blow it out with my heat gun. And I just keep repeating the process. Um, I'm also trying to clean up some of the, it just, um, I don't like the way the ink kind of pools down at the end. So I like to use a sponge and kind of wipe that up. But sometimes it just gets away with you. And it makes, sometimes it makes it look pretty as well. So we'll see. So another thing I don't normally do when I'm doing these flowers, the petals, is blow the ink back up towards the center of the petal because then you lose all that effect of when you blew it out from the first, from the, from the center, you know, when it got all that really pretty design. So I try to just blow it out and then just keep it in that direction. Sometimes I have to add ink, like right here. I'll add some ink down first, then I'll add a little bit of alcohol on the outside so that it kind of runs into it, and then I'll blow that out. If it doesn't look like I have enough ink or whatever from the initial um, center, then I'll do that as well. 
And you can do that this also with a different color, which adds just beautiful depth to it as well.
So here's the finished flower, and hopefully this helped um, explain how to how I make them, how I how I uh, blow out the petals, um, and now I'm just cleaning up, you know, some of the edge, some of the edge here. Um, so I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with. I can't wait to see their flowers. But I really love using the fuchsia um, on, on my flowers. It just really makes them pop. My finger tapping is because I'm listening to some really good music. Um, but this was a fun project. Let me know. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Tell me if this has is, is helped you any. Um, if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to let me know. Hi, I'm Everson. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Please subscribe to Art by Cater and hit the notification button so you'll know when we go live and release a new video. Thank you.